All right, we're going to be shooting the groom, some formal portraits of the groom. This is Michael, our groom. And we're going to uh, set up up here. We're in a different part of the, uh, of the Lyceum here. And uh, I like this look here because there's nice, really nice wood behind him. We have him seated here. I don't always do my groom portrait seated, but this just looks like such a great spot for it. And so we're going to start with the same thing that we shot through Brian with the exact same setup, the exact same softbox. We're just going to put it in front of him at a 45 degree angle, pretty standard setup. Um, my power is, uh, we are at just over a 16th power. So I'm halfway between a 16th and an eighth. So again, very low power because the, the light is so close to him. Now, uh, we are at still 1 1 25th of a second on our settings. We are at f 2.8 just as before. And for me to be able to see a little of the ambient light in here, and there's not very much at all, I can tell you, uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot at 200 ISO. Let me show you what it looks like without any flash. It's gonna look pretty bad here. Let's just take a, take a test shot, Michael. Yeah, it's not much of anything. So let's go ahead and turn the light on. And we're again, we're at between 1 16th and 1 8th power. And let me go ahead and take a shot. I'm gonna get down a little lower since he's seated. Very nice. <laughs> That's more like it. That looks much, much better. Again, now the light is pretty soft and it looks pretty nice and it's very flattering. I like the shadows on the other side of his face. Um, if I wanted to take this up a notch, I'd add a second light. Before I do, let me go grab a couple more shots here while we have it all set up. Nice, I'm gonna go in nice and tight. This is nice and tight right up in here. Very nice, great smile. That looks good, nice. Ah, this looks great. Ah, these are perfect. But if I wanted to take things up a notch, I would go ahead and add what we call a kicker light in the background. It's basically either a hair light or a rim light, a second light. Now we use this very nice strip bank. It works the exact same way. It's an Apollo strip and it works the same way as the big softbox. It pops into place just like the other one. And we're gonna position it behind him and kind of aiming down. And this is pretty much our standard setup for this. I have the front light over here. I have the strip bank in the back. And if you see me live on tour, you'll see me doing this exact, this is the exact same kit that I use on tour to do the same thing. So here's what I'm trying to get out of the lights. Number one, I want softer. I don't want super creamy, mega soft light, or I, I would get the light closer to him. Uh, by the way, if you want edgier light, just push it back farther. So I don't want to get it too close to him because it will look too soft, but this is what I'm looking for, soft light, then a little bit of shadow, and then this hard edgy light. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot, but I can tell you what, when you do this, if you want success in using multiple lights, you know what the key is? Do them one at a time. Just look at the backlight first, turn off the front light, look at the backlight. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn off the front light so I'm just seeing the strip bank that we just added, because if that's not positioned right, you won't know once all the lights are on. So let me go ahead and shut the front light off, and then we're just gonna test just the backlight. All right, so if you look straight towards me, and let me just get a see just what the backlight looks like. All right, the backlight's probably hitting his nose a little more than I would want it to. It looks pretty good the rest of the way on his shoulder, around his hair. I'm gonna have Brad move it back, just slide it down just a little bit. Oh, there you go, just tip it the other way a little bit. And while you're right there, Brad, hold on, let me take a test shot. That's better, that's, not, that's much better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the other light here. We're gonna go to that group and just turn it on. And we're at 1 16th is what I want my light, front light set at. Let's take a shot. Here we go. This is almost the real deal. Okay, that's what we were looking for. Notice how it's soft on one side, then you have a little shadow area, then you go to the harder light on the other. Soft, shadow, and then the hard. That's kind of the ratio I'm looking for. All right, let's take a couple of shots here, Michael. Nice. Good, that looks good. Ah, those look great. So why do we use a strip bank in the back instead of just another big old softbox? Well, the nice thing about it is a big softbox sends out a big beam of light. 
The strip bank sends out a smaller one, right? And that helps us focus and you can see we're having a little spill issue. If you're having a spill issue or the light's spilling off, there's an accessory that you can get that makes a huge difference. It's called a fabric grid or you may have heard it referred to as an egg crate grid. It just Velcros right in over the front and it takes the beam from the strip bank from this to straight on. So I'm gonna have Brad put the egg crate grid over the front of just the strip bank. And I tell you what guys, if you're gonna get a strip bank, this, this one accessory, is worth its weight in gold. And by the way, these things used to cost what gold cost. There was a time where you'd get an egg crate grid and I kid you not, it cost more than the softbox. Today, they're much, much, much more affordable, thankfully. And so all you do is Velcro it in there and it just literally takes the beam and puts it in tighter. Let's go ahead and take a couple more shots of Michael, our groom here. As soon as Brad gets that Velcroed in, I think it's all good. All right, now let's go ahead and get a couple of shots. These are pretty much gonna be just head shots. That looks perfect. Nice. Now, I think I can actually maybe bring up the power of that a little bit more. I can get a little more juice out of that back light. So I'm gonna switch to the second group here real quick. We're gonna go to the second one. Increase the light from one eighth to maybe one quarter. I can get a little punchier with that. Here we go. There we go, that looks really nice. All right, and you got no spill, it looks perfect. One more, Michael, nice. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna try something different. I had Brad go and take the softbox and actually kind of put it behind him. So it is almost a little bit to the side and a little bit behind him. Now you notice I also removed the strip bank. Strip bank's out of the picture. We only need one light for this. It's gonna be kind of a, a dramatic look. And here we go. And you notice I have him kind of looking away from camera kind of looking off into the nether regions. And this would make a lovely black and white shot right here. So you're just seeing a little of the ambient light on his face and then just the one light kind of creating a dramatic look in the background. So once you already have the one soft box set up, how easy is it to just pick it up, move it a couple of feet and you get a different look. And also don't just stand in one place and shoot. Once you have the light set up, if you move, if the photographer moves to the left, you get a different lighting look. If you move to the right, you get a different lighting look. Whatever way you move, you're gonna get a different lighting look. So keep that in mind when you're shooting. Don't just sit in one place and just keep the light in one place. Once you get a good look going, then move, then move. You're gonna get three different light looks without even moving the light.